How's it going guys, Max here. So, Samsung is doing something crazy with their Galaxy A52 and A32 series. And um, before the video, which one would you actually choose? A better display and camera or a better chipset? Let's dive in. So usually, when Samsung releases two variants for one phone, as 4G and 5G, the 5G variant normally has a slightly better chipset and a higher price. But every other spec of the phones, from the display to the cameras, all remain the same. We saw it with the Galaxy S20 FE, where the 5G model had a slightly better chipset for a higher price. But recently, Samsung did something crazy with their Galaxy A32 series. The 5G variant of the A32, which was released over a month ago, has a better chipset, the MediaTek Dimensity 720 5G, compared to the MediaTek Helio G80 found on the Galaxy A32 4G that was announced 3 days ago. And that's it, that's the end. The A32 4G is better than the A32 5G in every other way. Starting from the display, the 5G variant has a 6.5 inch 60Hz 720p IPS display, while the 4G variant has a 6.4 inch 90Hz 1080p Super AMOLED display. Wow, that alone is a huge factor for most people. And um, even with the cameras, the 4G variant has a 64 megapixel main, while the 5G variant has a 48 megapixel main. And it's also worth mentioning that the 4G model has a 5 megapixel depth sensor as opposed to the 2 megapixels on the 5G model. I don't know about you guys, and though I'm more interested in the chipset of a phone than anything else, I would still choose a phone with a better display and camera over one with a slightly better chipset. I would like to know the one you guys prefer in the comment section below. Though Samsung did something weird with the Galaxy A32 series, the A52 series are shaping up to be great. We already know that the A52 5G will have an almost flagship chipset that is the Snapdragon 750G which is better than the Snapdragon 720G in the 4G models and though we've heard another flagship feature like 120Hz display for the 5G models. We also have new leaks claiming that the Galaxy A52 series will come with a new optical image stabilization or OIS. Wow, the last time we saw an OIS on a mid-range phone was with the Galaxy A5 and A7 in 2016 and the optical image stabilization helps to stabilize the camera to produce faster and clearer images. So it would be great to see it return in the Galaxy A52 series. Well, these are just my thoughts. Tell me what you think about every single thing I've said in this video in the comment section. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.